So today we're going to be playing with Magnus and checking about how they work. Yes, yes we are. Um, so we have all kinds of magnets here, don't we? Yeah, a lot. Which one's your favorite that you've played with so far? I like these ones. The little tiny magnets? Well, kind of like yeah. these ones with these ones because you can move them. That's true, you can. You know why? Why? Because, because they're really strong magnets. And I, anyone that's ever done a lesson with me has seen my magnetic rocks. Yeah, and I could literally push them with this. Like he's seen, we could lay these out, and it'll either attract them or push them around. Oh, I took it. Well, they're so strong that sometimes they'll flip it over. Yeah, you could do that on some. Also, if on. you drop it on it, watch what happens. It just stays on there. It just these are so strong. So we have this here. And it just pulled it right over to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some um, exploring with some magnets. Stuck. We have, we have a worksheet over here. And he's put some things together. And we're going to talk about whether or not we think they are magnetic. So what do you got, Alex? What do you have to, to um, test? The button. So let's see. The button's not magnetic. <laughs> yeah, the button. But uh, this paper clip was, right? Okay, let's... so let's just use the crib. Um, hypothesis, I already thought that it wasn't magnetic. And the result Results, is what yeah. it's not. Okay, so what about uh, the paper clip? What do you think? I kind of, uh, at the same time, yeah, I kind of thought it wasn't going to be magnetic, but apparently it was. Okay, so what's next on our list? We got a coin. I mean, a die. A dice. A die. Yeah. No. The dice is not magnetic. Yeah, I didn't really think so. It was good why one. do you think it's not magnetic? It's made of plastic. It is made of plastic. That's right. And if we break it, there's another one inside. <laughs> uh, expensive dice do have another dice inside. Um, this is not an expensive dice, so I'm pretty mm. sure there's nothing inside of it. Okay. What's next? The coin. The coin. I already knew. It. Yeah, see, so I already knew it wasn't. But good. the coin's metal. Why? Why do you think it's not magnetic? It's not made of metal. The, the coin is made of metal. Some metals are not magnetic. Yeah, so this is So dimes and, and quarters, they're mostly made of nickel, so they're, they're not magnetic. So we have that crayon he's got in his hand. What do you think about the crayon? Well, I already know it's not going to be magnetic, but it could be magnetic. It depends on what type of crayon it is. Oh, okay. Some crayons can be magnetic. So you're talking like a, a crayon that has metal in it? Yeah, some crayons do. Not all. Oh, that didn't work. Oh my god, what are you trying so to do? So what's next? Um, I forgot to do the die. I already knew it wasn't magnetic, and it's not magnetic. Oh, I realize this. Yes, it is magnetic. Um, was the coin magnetic? Nope. I already knew it was going to be magnetic. And then crayon. It's not magnetic. I just thought that. It's not magnetic. <laughs> yeah, it's not magnetic. So, Crayon Hypothesis, I already thought it wasn't magnetic. It wasn't. <laughs> Why does this look so sad? We have a lot of sad things to try and put the magnets. Okay, I knew it was going to be this. So, are the scissors are magnetic. What about the handles? Well, the handle isn't. I already tried it. Watch. No, the handle on the scissors. Oh. No. It's just door handle. Well, we're, we're doing this because it's, what, plastic? And we can't get the door handle in view. Actually, it <sighs> is, Dad. Well, right there at the point. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So we have some other stuff okay, that's magnetic. Or might be magnetic. Okay, so I thought it was going to be magnetic, but it was magnetic. We, we did um, the battery, right, out of lemon, so I still have some of the parts left over, so do you think this screw is magnetic? Screw. Yep. It's definitely magnetic. All screws okay. are magnetic. What about these brass, or these copper ones? Oh, you do said. you think those are if you, magnetic? If you said brass, you could make trumpet out of those. 
Um, no. No. See? It is. It's moving them around, right? Oh, no. Well, it's actually really... Oh, my God. It looks like they're floating. Yeah, it's pulling them around, right? So we're moving it. Can I show them iron? Yeah, so what is this first? It's iron shavings. And you could do this at home with like a pile of dirt as long as you don't clean your dirt or else you won't get any iron out of it. You need really strong magnets for it. You might only pick up a few at a time. You might have to get more than one bowl of dirt to get it. And it's Just more... Move it around. Oh, yeah. This is actually... This is what it's supposed to do, but it will pick it up. And then you could literally do whatever you want with it. You could put it in a... Actually, I don't really know what you're going to do with it. <laughs> you just have iron savings. So, we got this magnet right here, right? Yeah, you well, make it float. You think <laughs> it's going to make it float? Yeah. It's not floating. It didn't float. Why didn't it float? Because you put it on the wrong side. Wait, there's two different sides to magnets? Yeah. She watched. So Is this the... side... Okay, this is this. So the blue side, since it's a different color and it's a different way, it will connect because it's a different type of magnet. But the other side, if it's the same magnet, it won't stick together. So you're saying there's two kinds of magnets? Yeah. <laughs> so we have... Oh, wait. <laughs> so do you know why it's making it float like this? <laughs> oh my god, Dad. Why do you think it's... Why do you think it's floating? I don't know why it's floating. <laughs> do you want to know what this invisible force is? Do you air. Have an idea? Air? Well, there is air in here. But the, these magnets have a magnetic field. Right? Well, that's exactly what I was literally about to tell you. You just let me say <laughs> So it. we have a magnetic field. And there's um, two sides to a magnetic field, right? So we have the north and the south side of the magnetic field. Yeah. So if they're the same color, they repel each other. It's kind of uh, like how we were pushing these rocks around. Or... Also, don't ever put this on glass or else it will break it. Like okay. you told me earlier. Ow! So we have a magnet that's marked with it's an N and an S. So there's two different sides. So if I take the red to this white right here, that's one side of the field, but if I take it and I push it over here, it pushes away, right? But if I flip the magnet, it sticks on. Here, let me show you some magic. Watch this. So you now you use red on red, and it doesn't, it makes it fly. But when you do it with the really strong magnets, watch, watch this. Yeah, <laughs> it's really hard. You gotta take them off. I guess that's sticking there. Uh, let's do it with this because it works better. So you see how it's not going on and it moves away? Magic. It's a magic trick. I can just pop it. So when you flip it over on the other side, watch. So then you do this and then... It's flipping, it's flipping the magnet. You probably can't see it. Yeah, like, so as you can see, this has smaller things on it. So then this, when you flip it, it has, it has the big ones instead of the small. It's really cool. So tell me about this. What's this? A magnet-powered motor. A magnet-powered motor. So does it just work with just the motor? No. And the magnet, what else does it need? The battery. The battery. And you need to put these things. So let's clip the battery onto it and see what happens. Well, first you have to start it. Duh. We'll try and start it. <laughs> Why isn't it going? Because the battery's dead. What's missing? <laughs> oh, look. The magnet's missing, right? <laughs> I thought you, I thought you were to put it in there. All right, now give it a spin. Now if you put more on there, watch. It affects it. Sometimes, not all the time. It's running so, slow, our battery's about dead. But it... Oh wait, we gotta turn it here. See, so look how it goes faster. But when you put two of them on there, it affects it. Normally, yep, battery's dead. 
We used this earlier to try it and the battery kind of. Well, why do you think taking this magnet over here is making it Wait, not shouldn't spin? us, wait, shouldn't us turning this give it power? Mm. So what's happening is... Electromagnetic force is stopping It's an electromagnetic this. motor, that's right. So we yes. have one side that's blue and one side that's red. So if I try to put this on the red side... See, up here it's not going to do anything. But when you put it lower, it stops it. See how it's affecting the motor? Because yep. they're resisting each other. But if I take that and I put it like that... It Man, does that way. thing go? What if I touch it? The same way with this side. That, that stopped it. Yeah, because... Can I show them how the compass works? Alright. I want to show them how the compass works. Oh, yeah. Show them the compass without the magnet first so they can see what it does. What's a compass do? So, as you can see, the compass is normal and it the more you move it, it moves. When you use magnets, you can move it by yourself. That's why if you have this in your pocket along with a magnet, it won't really work. So, and but then, what do we use compasses for? What do they help us find? Oh, stuff. They help us find stuff. <laughs> no, so it helps us find magnetic north. So the red will always point to north. That's why so, we have these. Wherever the red stops is where it, there's a lot of magnets on here, so it, it's going to affect it. But essentially, you can move this around like he was talking about on there. And even with your hand closed, watch. See how it's normal, but even with your hand closed, as you can see, I have a magnet in my hand. Put it on the back side so you can see. It would still move. Mm -hmm. That's right. And even on the front, sometimes. Whoa, two, two, three. So these are little magnet cars, right? It kind of works on the Wait, principle of the rocks. But I brought over here a cardboard piece. So here's what we're going to do. Alex, hand me one of those big magnets. One of the big ones. The really heavy Oof. ones. Yeah, so I had some old magnets laying around. So we're using them. So let's put our magnet... You never told me Here, that old put thing. a car on it. Oh, car. And the same thing would happen with the little ones. No, just the little one. What's this? So as I'm moving the magnet around, the car moves with it. Can I show them the little one? See, the little one works too. You took my little magnet! <laughs> okay, now the little one also works, but... They're pretty strong. So yeah, so you can do experiments. Yeah. So let's show you what it looks like through the plexiglass. So put your magnet right here. It kind of acts the same way as the iron shape. What if we use the bigger one? Yeah. Oh. Um, oh. The bigger one's probably going to work better. Yeah. It works exactly like the iron shavings. Even though it's in a thing, you can still use it. So yeah. we're through plastic, cardboard. Um, if your magnets are strong enough, they'll go through your body. It won't hurt you. Watch this. Yeah. I'm All with magnets. Why? I want to try with two big ones, actually. Two big ones? These things are some... T Ow! Clip my finger together again. As you can clearly see, yep, it doesn't hurt. It actually really just... just We've created so much of a magnetic field on here that... We could start making a well, Literally, the compass isn't working right. Um, the... Compass just goes to dark. Everything's kind of migrating to each other. Stop. Watch. If I... Watch. So you see this? Look how far away it is. Yeah, it just goes, right? You're mean. So look how far away it is. That's how strong the magnet is. Where's the pointy thing? What? The compass? No, the pointy thing. Oh, <laughs> the pointy thing. Uh. Well, we tried this earlier. It <laughs> did not end up working. Or.
Yeah. So I guess we're not going to do the pointing trick because the pointing trick. And the pointing trick never works. Just the same thing as the way they levitate. Yeah, it's, it does the same thing, but it's supposed to levitate. When we tried it earlier, it didn't work. It just, like, plopped down. Um, I can show you the manual thingy. <laughs> oh my god. What? Okay. Oh my goodness. Go hold it up to the thing. But not too close. So here's what's just supposed to happen. It's just supposed to float, but what happened when we tried it, it didn't float. It just ended up, the magnets right there ended up just flopping down to the other magnets and then connecting. A few moments later. I didn't figure out how to make one of these. <laughs> Alright, you guys are going to have to figure that out yourselves. Um, when I was trying to make one, it just didn't quite work right. So, um, is there anything else you, you want to talk about with batteries, or you think you got a, got it all covered? I think batteries are good. Also, how did you do... Can we make a potato one? A potato battery? Yeah. Yeah, we could, we could do a potato battery in another video. Right now. <laughs> well, I don't have this stuff. You don't have a So, <laughs> um... I hope you guys enjoyed our little discussion about magnets and seeing some of the things that are magnetic and are not magnetic. Um, why don't you ask mom or dad for a refrigerator magnet and go around your house and see what's magnetic and what's not magnetic. So until next time, bye. Well, what did you think of all the activities and experiments that Alex and I did? They're pretty fascinating, right? So. I only thought that it would be a good idea to have a follow-up book about magnets. So I have Magnets Push, Magnets Pull. Um, so before I get started, let's talk about the five parts of a book. We have the front of the book, the spine of the book, which holds it all together, the back of a book, the author who writes the words, and the illustrator does the pictures. So the author for this book is Mark Weakland. Um, I got this book from the library. Um, they have tons of other magnetic books, so if you want to explore magnets more and you want to read some stories, go to your local library. They're going to have tons of that stuff. Um, they're also going to have magnet kits that you can use to play. I know that I had talked about get one of your magnet letters, which we'll talk more about in this book here, to go around and, and explore. So let's get started. Magnets push, magnets pull. Have you ever held two magnets close together? Like magic, magnets pull together and push apart. What gives magnets their strength? Magnets are made from metals. Some magnets, called iode stones, are found in the earth. Look, this is a giant pile of them right here. Um, they're made of iron ore, magnetite, um, iode stones are natural magnets. Natural magnets are hard to find. Um, and I, I've tried to find real magnets. They are kind of difficult to find. So, um, But one I iode stone can make many more magnets. So that's how we get our different magnets. Um, they have large stones that they use to reproduce magnets. Um, when an iode stone is rubbed against another metal, it creates a new magnet. So here we're magnetizing all these nails, so these nails in turn will be able to um, magnet magnetically draw stuff. Um, this is kind of cool. So it says, like a bubble, magnet's energy surrounds a magnet. So we could see this arcing, right? Um, and then it collects at that two ends. To see magnet's energy, sprinkle powdered iron around it. Um, we did not do this. Uh, I didn't want to make a giant mess today. Uh, but it is very cool. You'll, you'll probably see this at some point in stores. Um, a magnet's energy is strongest at its ends. So we have the end 
in the S. You know, it's the strongest here and it's weaker back here. This is called the North and South Pole, N and S. The Earth produces magnetic energy just like a magnet. Uh, we showed you the compass. Um, that's, that shows you the direction of the magnetic energy. Poles are opposite, attract to each other. All magnets attract objects made with iron. So when we were pushing the rocks and the cars around, we were using the opposite pole to do that. Um, nails and paper clips stick to a magnet because they contain iron. So do cars, stoves, and refrigerators. Two poles that are same push each other away. Magnets are also can also repel metal. A metal ring floats above a magnet. The invisible force of the magnetic energy pushes the ring up and away. We did this with those little magnets. Remember? Where are magnets found? Everywhere. At the airport, magnets keep planes from getting flat tires. Look, this magnet's picking up all kinds of stuff. A rolling magnet sweeper picks up all stray metals to keep tires flat. A small electric motor powers this toy train. Inside the motor are tiny magnets. Magnets also turn the steel wheels of a diesel locomotive. You remember my little electric motor that was spinning? Same thing. Electric motors, big and small, use magnets. Without magnets and electric motors, there would be no spinning fans and no whirling beaters on a cake mixer. This would be a sad day. Magnets have many other uses. To make his music louder, a guitarist uses an amplifier. That's this little box right here. Um, the amplifier uses magnets to make louder sounds. Those big magnets I had, those are off the speakers. That's what you would find in this here. In a hospital, a patient slowly slides into the center of a large ring magnet. Um, that is a big magnet. I've been in one of those. Very, very noisy. Um, doctors use the MRI machine to find out why a person is sick. Yeah, it's a giant magnet. Big enough a whole person can fit in there. A magnet can move heavy can move the heaviest objects. Some magnets are strong enough to lift more than 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds is one ton, so that's about half of a car, most cars. Um, they're very heavy. With magnets shaped like letters, you can spell words and leave messages. What do these magnets spell? It spells the end. So remember I said we can use these to go around the house. Those magnets are strong enough to know whether or not it will stick to a paper clip or a piece of metal or a different magnet. Um, they don't have to be these big, huge, large magnets like on, on the book here or like the ones that I used. Um, so get creative. Explore some more. I hope you enjoyed the story. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, little uh, set of experiments and explorations and uh, I'm really fortunate that my son was able to come and do this with me today. He loves all this kind of stuff. Um, I hope you enjoyed having him here too. So until next time, bye.